If you've been watching the channel the past few months, I've been experimenting with different desk setups from monitors to speakers and other accessories. But there's one aspect I've overlooked and regret doing so. If you are working from home, studying from home, or spend a lot of time behind a computer screen, you need this chair. So this is my old chair. I got it off of Wayfair. It's solid, pretty functional. Okay when it comes to comfortability. It's modern and it looks cool. But it's missing one thing. Actually, when compared to this chair, it's missing a lot. One item that is an essential part of my desk setup that is an aspect often overlooked is the chair. Thanks to Autonomous AI who gifted me with the Ergo Chair 2, I've had the opportunity to use the Ergo Chair 2 for a few months. In no way has Autonomous AI paid me to make this video and say nice things about the Ergo Chair 2. I simply just wanted to share with you how incredible my experience has been with the Ergo Chair 2 and why it's worth every penny. It's funny that at one point I didn't even view an office chair as highly as I did the desk, such as the counter space and the drawers, and of course the monitor. If I could have done it all over again, I would have invested my money in a nicer chair earlier. Honestly, now I feel so spoiled having this chair that has so many adjustments, allowing you to sit in almost any way you prefer. If you're sitting in a slouched over or slouched down position in an office chair over time, a poor sitting posture can damage spinal structures and contribute to lower back pain. Additionally, you can overstretch the spinal ligament and strain spinal structures. Now that I've convinced you to reconsider the importance of an ergonomically friendly chair, let's talk about the features and adjustments you can make to the Ergo Chair 2 to improve your workspace experience and ergonomics. Outside of this chair looking amazing, like it belongs in some expensive hybrid sports car, the Ergo Chair 2 features an Italian design tilt tension mechanism along with offering 360 degree of flexible full body support and a breathable responsive Korean back creating a perfect blend of function and material. Wow, that feels amazing. Starting at the top, you can easily adjust the headrest by pulling it up or pressing it down. Depending on what height is most comfortable for you, you can also adjust the angle of the headrest by pulling it forward or pushing it backward to, you know, prevent the hump neck so many of us are developing. I've always strayed away from chairs that had headrests because I don't always wanna feel like I'm driving a car or in an airplane. But the way this headrest fits between my shoulders and head, I honestly forget it's even there. Not only is adjusting the monitor height important, but the height of the chair as well, because you wanna make sure that the top of the screen is at or slightly below eye level. To adjust the height of your chair, just pull the right handle up and release at the proper height. And to lower the seat, you just pull the same handle up and release. Would you wanna sit on a plane without armrests? If you answer yes to this question, I'm just gonna assume you've never been on a plane before. My old chair had no armrests, which kind of forces you to slouch forward, resting your forearms on the desk, and that is no bueno for your posture. The armrest padding is actually really comfortable, and the size of the pads are wide enough to really make anyone feel comfortable. To adjust the armrest, press the tabs underneath the armrest, pull them up if you want them higher, and press them down if you like them lowered. One thing I appreciate about the Ergo Chair 2 is that all the tabs and levers work great. I don't have to force any adjustment. Listen guys, I didn't even realize that these two adjustments were possible for a chair to make, but the first one is the ability to tilt your seat pan. If you flip the handle on the right side of the chair up, you unlock the seat tilt function. Like when you're playing the game or watching YouTube and wanna recline all the way back, you can tilt the seat pan for a more balanced adjustment. The next is seat depth. If you press the inner handle down on the right side of the chair, you can slide the seat pan forward or backward. I usually adjust this adjustment when I adjust the recliner. 
All right, my favorite adjustment being able to recline and one of the main reasons why an office chair can cost more than anticipated. To adjust the back angle and recline, simply press the left handle down to activate the function, then lean back, lean back, lean back, or recline forward, and then pull the handle up. This adjustment is phenomenal. You can literally almost recline so far back to the point where you're lying down, maybe taking a brief nap during a boring Zoom call. Arguably the most important feature this chair has to offer lumbar support. To adjust the lumbar support position, all you have to do is pull the support pad up or down to reach your preferred position. If you desire more lumbar support, you flip the lever down and flip the lever up for more support. To increase back tilt tension, rotate the handle clockwise and to decrease back tilt tension, rotate the handle counterclockwise. So that's the Ergo Chair 2. I really hope this video at least raises the awareness of how important it is to own an ergonomically friendly chair. Autonomous AI also offers other chair options with a few being cheaper than the Ergo Chair 2 if it's out of your price range. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I wanted to make it short and sweet, highlighting the Ergo Chair 2 features along with how I use them. And of course, the importance of ergonomics. Check out the Ergo Chair 2 and other smart office products that Autonomous AI has to offer. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and wanna see more content like this. Subscribe to join this wonderful community of creators and engineers. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy. Peace.